I presented a uh, tool, a uh, set of tools that we're developing uh, that will hopefully lead to a uh, database of DFT structures um, at a variety of high pressures. Um, so um, we've talked about uh, different materials databases a lot the last few days, so I'm going to try and uh, be quick. So similar to the materials project where uh, you have uh, a structure and it's uh, you know, a, a slew of different DFT calculated properties. Uh, we're doing a very similar idea where um, a user will load a structure. Right now, we just load structures from the materials project, but uh, after some comments, uh, we want to open that up to where, you know, a user might be able to um, load a file for a structure that's not on the materials project. Um, and then the main uh, purpose of the tool is to aid uh, the creation of an input file um, and ultimately um, submit the job uh, to a, an external um, resource where the, the, the calculations are run and then store all of the outputs um, using SIM tools. If you're not familiar, you should uh, read this paper. Uh, but the, the main purpose uh, of this tool or th one of the main advantages is that uh, no one has to install in any software. Um, all of the packages are open source. All you need is a browser and an internet connection, uh, and you can uh, run your own DFT calculations. And the main purpose of this tool is to um, relax structures at various pressures, um, and we store all of the information, such as the formation energy, the final pressure, volume, stress tensor, uh, and also the final structure. Um, and one of the things that we're coupling with this tool um, is a, another tool where we can query the results that are uh, stored from the different DFT calculations. Um, and as an example, uh, we're gonna look at the MGO system. So this is an example of querying um, all of the uh, calculations for MGO in the B2 structure. Uh, we can fit equations of state to get energy and pressure as a function of volume. Um, and then we use that equation of state uh, to plot things like phase transformation, as well as uh, something that's under development is a, a, a convex hull phase diagram. So what we're showing here is that we can, you know, with a, a, a set of calculations on both the M MGO in the B1 and B2, uh, structure, we can use the enthalpy as a function of pressure to get a prediction of the phase transition. And we uh, found about 416 GPA. And this you know, agrees pretty well with previous uh, calculations and, and measurements. Um, and then something that we think will be really cool is this is a screenshot from the materials project where it's plotting formation energy um, uh, to create the convex hull for MGO. Um, so you can not only see, you know, the stable structure, but all of the relative stabilities of other uh, structures that exist in the database. And we want to do a very similar thing, but instead uh, be able to generate this graph uh, at different pressures. So you can see how um, the stable structure for a different, different uh, for a given composition changes with pressure but also it provides you know, the relative stability of each phase at uh, different pressures. Um, and yeah, I think this is one aspect of how we can use the DFT data that's being generated. Uh, and we have plans this summer to use some undergrad researchers um, to start thinking about other ways that we can explore uh, this data that's being stored. All of these tools, again, are open access. All you need is a NanoHub account, which is free and uh, an internet connection. Um, with that, I think uh, I'll, I'll finish.